Hey guys, this video was taken at the Goodwill in Conover, North Carolina. Now this video is more than a week old. I've been sick and could not get the editing done. This is a china cabinet. The hutch was sitting on the floor behind it, so I could not get a real good view of the hutch, but it all looked like it was in really good shape, minus that drawer pull that had fallen off. But the drawer pull was there in the drawer so that it could be repaired. This is a metal hanging wine bottle rack. I love to use these as towel holders on the wall, but this one has the fat end and the smaller ends instead of the ends being the same size. I'm in the retail store that is right next to an outlet store. This is the Goodwill retail store that is right next door to the outlet store. I fuss a lot about these little tiny furniture sections in the retail stores because all of the furniture used to be sold next door at the outlet store before this store was built. There was plenty of room to appropriately display the furniture when the furniture was sold next door. Take this chair for example. You cannot see the sides or the back of this chair. You can't sit in this chair because it's under that shelf. So why would you want to buy that chair? The employees in this store do their very best to try to display things as nicely as they possibly can. So please don't blame the employees. They're only doing what they can do with the space they have available. If you're a DIYer that likes to fix up furniture, then you can find some really good deals in here. Okay, so this appears to hold little tiny photos. I had to turn around and go back over to the furniture section because I realized that there was a basket there that I missed. If y'all have been watching my previous videos, you know I have a basket addiction, but I have more baskets than I need, so I try not to buy any newer ones. If you have kids that will be going off to college next year, let me show you something. These little chests are used by college students. They usually have a lock on them so that you can lock them. These are quite expensive to buy brand new, so if you can find one at a thrift shop in really good shape, you can save yourselves a lot of money. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of the glassware and home decor section. These are super cute. They're little pottery cups for plants. These are really good to put your herbs in. This little wood pineapple bowl is so cute. I do like using wooden bowls around the house because they're so versatile. Oh, this is cute. It reminds me of an old green vintage Ford truck that my grandfather used to drive. This is cute. I guess it's just considered a trinket bowl. Here's a butterfly. Here's a mushroom with a butterfly. Five dollars. That's different. That one's bent real bad. But you could straighten that out. Look, they cleaned all this up. Wow. India. This came from India. These floating shells are brand new. This segment.
This store was starting to look pretty cluttered and unkept a while back, but they've done a really good job of trying to straighten it up and keep it more organized in here. And I know a lot of it is because the customers come in here and they just move things around on the shelves. They will move things and put things on top of other things and not put things back where they got them from. And it creates a mess. And I know that the employees are trying their best to make sure everything stays nice and organized. And I'm sure it's really tough for them to do so. If you like decorating with metal wall decor, then make sure you check out your local thrift stores to find some really good deals. I'm not sure what that macrame stuff is on there exactly. I don't think this ball is crystal. I think this is just cut glass. They tend to put the nicer pieces down on the bottom and I don't understand that. I do think this larger bowl is probably crystal. Okay, now we're in the kitchenware aisle, and this section is usually pretty cluttered compared to most of the other sections. And I think that's mostly because they always have so much to try to put over here, and then of course the customers go through it and just make a mess of everything. Here's some cute little Native American figurines. I haven't seen any Native American figurines in any of the thrift stores in a really long time. Well, this is super cute. There's a teepee and everything. There's usually a lot of dishes and stemware to choose from. Check out this highball glass. It says dry era ends today. <laughs> That's so cute. Here's a quick shot of the men's clothing section. You can find some really good deals on dress shirts in here. Here's another view of the furniture section. You can see the kids' toys and books there on the other side. Once again, you cannot see the dresser that's here because the chair is in the way. These purses sell on Amazon for about $37.99 for a set. And here you'd get this single purse for about $5.99. It's in really good shape, so whoever buys this purse will get a really good purse for $5.99. Let's walk over to the outlet store now. Okay, here we are in the bins, and the music is on blast, so I have to try to edit that out as much as possible. Here's a Michael Kors purse. I have no idea if this is a legit Michael Kors or if it's a knockoff. I'm just showing you what I found. I will say that I'm shocked that it's still here in the bins just because it has the name Michael Kors on it. Usually somebody will have already have scooped these things up by now. When this outlet store first opened, I used to be able to come in here and find all kinds of backpacks and purses that were like brand new. But now this place has exploded in popularity and everybody comes here to shop. So by the time I come in here, everything good has already been picked through and bought. There's a lot of different toys and stuff in here. Nothing that I really need. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what kind of stuff you can find here in the bins. There are a lot of people around me right now and a lot of different conversations happening at one time. I'm really not finding much in here today. And it's just so crowded in here. It's really hard to film or even just move around. Okay, I don't need this, but let me show you this Christmas blanket. It's super cute and in great shape, but I don't need it. Okay, that's going to wrap it up today, guys. Hope to see you next time.